All right, uh, I'm gonna I need a cloudless sky. Today. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this video is gonna be about Jean-Luc Marion's um, saturated saturated phenomenon. Um, saturated phenomenon is a uh, a really interesting concept. It's probably one of my favorite of his. It stems from his idea of givenness, which I had a little bit. Of, I had I have a video on givenness. Sorry. Um, <coughs> the previous video I had on Jean Luc Marion was a bit of a touching on Heidegger, but it was a pretty much a discussion of givenness and uh, es Gibt. Um, this, this is a video on. Jean-Luc Marion's saturated, saturated phenomenon. This is going to be primarily um, from Jean-Luc Jean Marion's being given. Um, I've read parts of being given and parts of God, of, God, of God without being. I wish I had those books, but I don't have them. Otherwise, I'd be. Otherwise, I'd, 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 I'd honestly be doing a section, be, be doing a section by, by section analysis. Look at this cat. <laughs> He he wants he wants my coffee cup I think. Stay stay away from the coffee. Okay. Um. Anyway, saturated saturated phenomenon um kind of hinges um on Kant. Uh, Kant in the critique of pure reason has you know he has uh has a lot of a lot of that's a rich rich book. Um, critique there Brian Brian and Ferdinand. Um, in this book, he does a lot of great things. One of the great things that he does in the, in the, in the critique of pure reason is he gives a gives a a real good description on something called the categories. Um, now, Kant is very very important to understand if you want to understand phenomenology, if you want to understand um, uh, Husserl, because um, Husserl, damn it, cat. I gotta go get my notebook. Sorry about this. Damn animal. Ugh. What I do when I make uh, what I what I do when I make videos is I'll either read from the book or I'll take notes for me to look on while I'm making a video. Okay, sorry. The cat made this fall. Made this fall. Anyway, um, the categories um, are basically constructs of our, of our mind. Um, we have quality, quantity, relation, and modality, and in each of those, we have, you know, various sub-categories. Sub, sub um, now, I don't plan on giving like a good explanation or exposition on Kant's categories, but I plan on actually doing more of a slight discussion of them, merely to merely to um, give a preface because it's very important to understand the categories to understand saturated phenomenon. Um, categories of, um, you know, quality, quantity, relation, and immodality. Kant says that these are, that these are the necessary um, things. This is These are construct, constructs of our mind. Uh, it's a framework of our mind, which creates, which gives a certain condition of the possibility of, of experience. God damn it. That was my fault. Um, so pretty much what these what these categories are are the frameworks. It's a framework and a construct for possibility of me be able to, of me being able to 
experience these 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 phenomena. Um, that's what those are. Um, if you want a um, a good discussion on Kant, um, what you can do is uh, there's various people who write about Kant. Um, if you want some um, if you want some good uh, books on that, then let me know. I can direct you to not, not, not only just to some resources on Kant, but some books who write about him. Yeah, there's various, there's probably more more people who write about Kant's um, morality and ethics, but uh, there are still a lot who write about Kantian, Kantian epistemology. Um, so because of these these categories, we are able to format, you know, into our into the constructs of our mind, um, the given, what what Jean Luc Mélenchon and Wolf, Wilfred Sellers call the given, or G. E. Moore and Bertrand Russell will call sense, sense data. Um, it's pretty much. Um, our mind, because of these categories, it formats these these phenomena to always conform to our construct, so that we are always able to experience that. Now, if we go to phenomenology, Jean Luc Jean Luc Marion, who touches who who is influenced by Husserl, and uses to a great extent Husserlian, Husserlian phenomenology, he says that from these you know constructs of our mind, we are able to you know, start the process of phenomeno phenomenological intentionality, and we're able to start this process. Um, this is the normal, you know, run-of-the-mill thing of how we experience, you know, um, this mug. You know, we have the intendio, intendium gnosis and noma of each intentional act, you know, uh, or the end of each, or each intentional, intentional object. Now, if you want um, a good discussion on Australian, good, good, good discussions on on Australian phenomenology. I have quite a few of them actually. Uh, if you go to my ph ph phenomenology playlist, that that's where a, a lot a lot of that is. Now there, you know, you, now you do have also um, Professor Anton has some good videos on, on phenomenology, um, and uh, Chad African Chad African also has some good videos on Australia as well. <clears throat> I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to think of who else, but that's pretty much who I can think of right now on on, on, on YouTube besides me, uh, Chad African, and Professor Anton. Uh, oh, um, Emblem of Being has 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 a, has a good bit too. Uh, anyway, these categories, according to Mario, are the pretty much makes all of our all the phenomena that. Is given to us conform to these these, these constructs, um, and that is what allows us to you know do the run of the mill method of phenomenological intentionality of every of every intentional object, and that's how we experience things. That's, a, that's our run of the mill method of of experience. <coughs> that's phenomenological in intentional experience. But the real question here that was that. that that conforms to, or that is about saturated phenomenon, is what if something that happens that happens to be to be experienced doesn't fit these these con these constructs? What if we experience something that, for one thing, doesn't that breaks one of these Kantian categories, thus not allowing us to go about the the regular method of phenomenological in intentionality. What if this? What if we can't do this because it breaks one of the, one of those one of those categories? Um, this is when we get saturated saturated phenomenon um, that it breaks one of these categories, which um, allows us not to be able to, to go about these this our regular run of the mill method of phenomenological in intentionality. That's what a saturated phenomenon is. Um, so, 
phenomenon is comes from givenness to Gaben Heights. Um, that's you know I have a, a little bit of a not so I, I want to say not so not so great video on givenness. I mean it's it's a it's a it's a it's an all right video, but it's mostly a reading and uh, kind of a ramble, but. Um, it's the, the, the idea of us experiencing phenomena stems from givenness, and we conform what is given to us through, or what phenomena is given to us through givenness, and that can, that is made to conform to our to our constructs. Um, I can think of various various. Um, I think uh, there's philosophy of uh, Hegel says says something about how it. How uh, we can form experience to our constructs. You know, we, there's there's various 18th and 19th century philosophy on this. Um, um, so, and I and I'm hooked up to good old power bar. Not gonna happen now. This thing, I swear. Cannot cannot hold hold battery for its life. An iPod fifth generation. Okay, I'm gonna continue here on Jean, on Jean Luc Marion's saturated phenomenon. Um, so, like I was saying before um, about the 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 content categories, um, you know, when we have givenness and uh, what is presented, what is given to us, is. Um, Formatted to conform to our to to, to the con, to the constructs of our, of our mind by via the content content categories, and uh, then John Luc Marignan presents the idea of what if um, uh, something that is given um, something within givenness um, breaks one of the one of the, one of those categories and that and cannot be formatted into the constructs of of our mind, um, and it breaks at least one of the one, uh, breaks at least one, one of those one of those categories. Um, it um, you know when we we um, trying to not miss anything from the stuff I wrote down. Um, it will possibly blind you. It will possibly. Um, Cause emotions or some or something like that. So saturated saturated phenomenon is something that is is a phenomenon that is presented in given in in the given uh, where um, it breaks one or some or all of the categories, causing either a blinding or some kind of emotion that takes you away from the object um, or something of, something of, something of that sort. Um, so what I plan on doing here is I want to discuss the types of saturated of saturated phenomena, and then I have I'm going to have two videos that talk about um, you know the concrete things of this saturated phenomenon, and um, we have the event, the idol, the flesh, and the and the and the, re the revelation. Um, we have. So um, essentially, um, what what happens here is we, this is something where um, our normal idea or our normal method of phenomenological intention, intentionality of something uh, is not able to occur. We can't you know we can't just do that normal that that normal that normal normal process. Um, so let's I'm going to go over the. These few here. First, we have the the event. Um, <clears throat> now, it's from this that I'm going to discuss the four main things that we have to have for for for, for a phenomenon to be to be saturated. Um, um, multiple horizons um, making it impossible for for, for a person to um, to to impossible for for a, for a person to um, experience it in its in its entirety, um, uh, or imposition of time 
uh, where we have a beginning and a we beginning and and an end, um, or or we have um, inability to be one thing due to due to plurality of meetings among different different multiple part participants and um, cause of creation of historical communities. Uh, the event um, in Jean-Luc Marion's being given, he he describes the event, the saturated the saturated phenomenon of, of the event by the Battle of Waterloo. Uh, if you don't know what the Battle of what the Battle of Waterloo is, uh, that's what was uh, was was Napoleon. Napoleon had um, you know he kind of was conquering Europe, and then he he lost uh, to to the to the Russians. Um, it's one of two two times in history where um, a big force in Europe go, go, goes into Rus Russia and gets basically boned by the, by the by the Russian winter. The Napoleon Russian Russian Russia, Russian invasion as well as Hitler's Operation Bar Barbarossa Barbarossa was was another. Um, uh, and in that he and he he had a couple exiles where he where when his his uh I forget the whole the whole whole history of it but there was treaties um font there was the treaty of Fontainebleau um and there was the, the treaty of Versailles uh, I forget what happened in which but then well um he was exiled to um a certain island south, south of Europe I forget, I forget I forget what it's called, but he was exiled to this to this isle, uh, which was which was which was which under which was under French rule, where he was pretty much the ruler of that isle, and when he was in of him in exile, so he oh Elba, he um, escaped there, and he, and then he he came back to France, and Louis the Eighteenth, who was put in power after after Napoleon, fled, and then he had another conquest, and he was trying to. Get it all back, and the and the Battle of Water of Waterloo was when was when Napoleon lost. He 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 lost again, and then he was exiled to 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 Elba to Elba a second time. Um, so that that is essentially the Battle of Waterloo. Now Jean Luc Marion uses the the Battle of Waterloo to illustrate the event as a as a saturated phenomenon. Now for one thing, the Battle of Waterloo had multiple horizons. Um, Making it hard for one to see it in its in its in in its in in, 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 in its entirety. Um, it had a beginning and an end. Uh, it had a definitive beginning and end to this to this event. Um, and we had various too many things happening on different different events. Um, And it was hard for this to be one thing based on plurality of meetings among multiple participants because we had the Napoleon side and we had the the opposite side, which was the um, government of Louis the uh, or that was you know opposed to Napoleon. So we had various plurality of meetings in this thing, in this in this in this whole event, which makes it hard to be um, viewed in one in one. Um, as one thing, and then we had um, we had historical meanings of those who fought um, and uh, who the, 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 those who fought and who were there and uh, and who dealt with the aftermath. So we had these various things that qualify this to be a saturated phenomenon in the Battle of of uh, Waterloo. Um, so basically, with the with the event, we have pretty much the way I see it. We have um, various things in it. Not only plurality of meanings, but different things happening at different times, multiple multiple horizons, which means that we couldn't, we can't look at look at look at the at the Battle of Waterloo as one thing to where we can do our normal. Um, it, it it doesn't conform to the constructs of our. Of, of our mind, um, that's one of the least in, interesting ones, in, in my, my opinion. <laughs> and 
and then we have the idol, which I think is very interesting. Um, the idol, um, it breaks the category of quality. Um, he says that the Marion says acts, so it stops that because of splendor. Um, it bedazzles you pretty much, um, and it uh, pretty much um, pretty much is like um, it's this is this is where we think about art, I guess. Um, we see we see something that will bedazzle you and give you with lots of give you like present we present you in your mind with with lots of splendor and this very thing here wipes out intent with which wipes out this this normal constructs of our mind it wipes out the process of 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 of, of intentionality so the idol we're talking about um we're talking about overwhelming um, unleashed reality um, uh, breaks through the limitations of our of, of our minds. Now, when we see something with this big splendor here, um, this is not going to register normally. Um, now, we, we're, we're we're talking about all one thing that falls falls under this category is all good art. Um, that's what. That's one thing. Now I'm going to have a video where I talk about that with with with, with respect to art. And uh, think about what would actually, what what that what that would actually mean. And then we have the flesh. This is a little, a little bit different. Breaking down the category of relation, um, the this saturated phenomena, um, 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 it comes prior to the moment of intentionality um, splitting the object from the from, from the eye. Uh, you know, we're talking about the transcendental eye from Husserl. The eye is affected by the object as a normal phenomenological intentionality develops, and it creates a feeling. Um, it creates. Um, Of, it creates this kind of uh, feeling, gives you a certain um, feeling of that comes from the, from the object, and then which causes you to focus on the feeling that you get from the object, and it cuts you off from the object itself, which uh, again um, ma makes you not able to do this common uh, process of phenomenological of phenomenological intentionality because it doesn't conform to the constructs of of your mind. <laughs> Now we're talking about, um, you know, we're talking about joy, surprise, anxiety, or fear, um, and Jean Luc Marion even includes things like a orgasm or anything like that. So we're talking about the feeling, um, what that word it causes you to causes it separates the eye from the object, which causes you to focus on the feeling rather than rather than the the object, um, and it demands solipsism because. <laughs> You're not caring or thinking about anything, but ones about your own emotion that will that will overwhelm you. Um, and this feeling is so overwhelming that it that it that it prevents you from understanding anything about the object. Um, and it um, prevents your relations from the eye to the things. And then the last one we have re revelation. I've heard it called called other things. Um, this is the one where all of the, all of the categories are broken, um, at all, at, at, at once. Like, all the other one, event, flesh, and idol, they all break the different, different categories. But this one, Revelation, breaks all of them. Um, and this, Marion puts, uh, under, puts under this, God's act of self-communications with human beings. Um, God being whose nature is beyond our normal c comprehension, a God to human c communication, um, trying to um, trying to explain like uh, it was like a one analogy of her is trying to explain this to trying to explain the you know a human to to a fish, 
Um, so um, this is like this. This one could put this one like uh, this is one. This is something where uh, lots of uh, problems are presented to to Jean Luc Marion because of this one. Um, this is something that you know is with this a a a, a revelation. What whether it be communication with God or something different, uh, it's going to break all of your categories because it, it does not conform to your mind. It doesn't do anything like that. It uh, pretty much breaks all of it. Um, and it's beyond comprehension so much that um, it's like, you know how small a fish's, a fish's mind is? Um, it's like trying to explain complex things that you and I understand to a, to a fish, and that um, you know things that we understand is beyond the framework of the mind of a fish. So that is my discussion on on the saturator phenomenon. Now this is very interesting because we can talk about this and um, try to understand um, things about ourselves, not only and understand things outside of ourselves, and this is. Probably one of my one of the most interesting things from Jean Luc from Jean Luc Marion. Um, so um, let me know what your what your what your thoughts are specifically about. Um, do you think that we do have constructs constructs of a mind? Um, do you think that do you think that um, do you think that one of these is um, not is actually doesn't break categories or um, I'm I'd like to know what your what your, what your thoughts are on this um, so yeah uh, um, this is very very interesting I think I'll be coming I'll be coming coming back to this with with respect to certain 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 saturated phenomenon so thank you very much